Let's read source 8 for the reconstruction investigation. It's titled, Red Shirt's Battle Plan. So let's remember our central question, which is our purpose for reading this source. Was reconstruction mostly a story of triumph or tragedy for African Americans? Let's start with the attribution to see where the source comes from. Adapted from the Red Shirts Battle Plan, 1876, South Carolina. Printed in Trouble They Seen, the story of reconstruction in the words of African Americans by Dorothy Sterling. Now let's read the headnote to find more about the source. The Red Shirts were armed gangs of white men, similar to the KKK. The Red Shirts were a terrorist and intimidation group within the Democratic Party. They used violence during the 1876 political campaigns in North and South Carolina. Their goal was to intimidate African American men from voting and to encourage more white Southerners to vote. The Red Shirts murdered many African Americans. This comes from their official battle plan in 1876. Okay, now let's read the source itself, this battle plan by the Red Shirts. Every Democrat must feel honor bound to control the vote of at least one Negro by intimidation, purchase, keeping him away. We must attend every radical meeting. Democrats must go in as large numbers as they can and well armed, behave at first with great courtesy and as soon as their speakers begin, tell them that they are liars and are only trying to mislead the ignorant Negroes. In speeches to Negroes, you must remember that they can only be influenced by their fears, superstitions, and greed. Treat them to show them you are the superior race and that their natural position is that of subordination to the white man. Never threaten a man individually. If he deserves to be threatened, the necessities of the times require that he should die. A dead radical is very harmless. A threatened radical is often troublesome, sometimes dangerous. Every club must be uniformed in a red shirt, and they must be sure and wear it upon all public meetings, and particularly on the day of election. 